on today's episode, we grabbed a cab over with the same windows up top as the W9. Stick around, find out. All right, all right, drive shaft. She got the carrier back. Ooh, all dirty. Drive shaft complete. Back to tarpon, or actually strap. And uh, that's what actually moves up and down and pushes on the spring. Um, those head bolts, probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to get out. And a JB hook. Hey. Oh, that was nice of you. 19765. So that is a wrap. What do you think? You good? Every state is probably going to be different. Hello, Florida. We're back. Let's get in here and get some sleep. cool down that is a wrap let's get some sleep let's see you guys in the morning good morning florida all right it's supposed to be at 80 degrees today for a high We've got a beautiful sunrise coming get some coffee and our buddy's gonna come pick us up okay let's go came inside to grab the coffee some of the uh cleanest bathrooms ever for one of these small little truck stops Usually they're pretty bad for these little truck stops. This one, pretty good. I hate to see it go, but I ain't done nothing with it. That's a big thing. You ain't touched it in a fucking year. <laughs> ain't done nothing with it. I'm like, well, there's shit in this house you ain't touched in two or three years. I'm getting rid of it. <laughs> That's right. Got the stack still. Got the Peterbilt tanks. All right. That's the hydraulic assist to put the cab up. That's the air or whatever T-Dub says, the uh, space heater. It does have the big cam Cummins. How long do you think it is? Uh, did 270. we 270? It's just like my W9. <laughs> yeah, 270. That's crazy. But this is a rear end off of a newer uh, Kenworth. Oh yeah, we do need to reconnect the um, electrical and the airlines because after the frame cut, they hadn't replaced those yet. We put them back together. <sighs> nice sliding fifth wheel. Oh yeah. Here we go. It's gonna be fun. In a 15, 13 speed out of a 2014. Dun, dun, dun. And that's why we want it right there. Oh yeah. Ah, smells old, smells awesome. Little fans. Ah, 1985, Aerodyne. Sitting here for a little bit, but it has a stretch frame, has the stacks. Gonna gra grab a grill surround and give her a nice power wash. I have never, Really had one of these, mess with one of these, but <laughs> radiator. <laughs> but yeah, if you can get a new grill surround, um, put that on there. I got a new bumper on it. There's a visor that comes with it. Okay, 24s in front, Peterbilt tanks, and of course a stretch frame, 270, guys. Oh, man. And this is a rear end off of a 2006 T2000. Drive shaft's already been done, redone. There's a hoist to get up the cab, uh, Big Cam Cummins. They put some batteries in it and hook up the fuel tanks. And then we need to hook up the lines for the air and the electrical, but <laughs> look at this thing. Old school guys, gonna need some elbow grease and some fun. Old tape deck. Oh yeah. You got a low back seat probably, these original Kenworths. Got some work to do, but just the canvas is what you want. Got the, still have the covers for the windows. They need a new windshield. 
um, has the steering column doesn't tilt. So you're kind of driving like that. 13 speed out of a 2014. Oh man. Oh yeah. Okay. Mechanical Cummins. They did a different linkage for the shifter. There oh, it's not much to it, but man, need to replace the, uh, these vents up here. But they, they're the same for all of them. <laughs> Little box on the side, got a saw. <laughs> okay, canvas is there, guys, but we take that out and redo the fiberglass back there. But it has also the little swoop thing up top. That's crazy. That is our new truck. Now we just gotta get it home. Start tinkering with it, get it running, make it another truck. Well, I did the new style, so now it's got 336s with the new style suspension with good bushings and hub piloted wheels. Nice. So it's more modern. Yeah. Yep, just give it a facelift. Yep. Okay. Stretch frame. Aerodyne. Old time spotlight. Get your horn here. Kind of pulls forward. Boys will love that. Got some clips here. A couple of toggles here and there. Ah, CD goes there. Plenty of gauges. And it still fires up. Fired up last month. Um, he has a video of that running. A little 13 speed. My goodness. <laughs> that big old sleeper. Man, it still has the covers for the windows. It does have these little like cubbies. There was a factory fridge there. Little standing room there. <sighs> a little cleaning, but definitely that goes up. <laughs> it's kind of cool. It has the like books. See that book? <laughs> Big old guy in the middle. Different guys, telling you. Something that kind of, <sighs> if you're a trucker, you kind of just are intrigued by them. I saw them when I was growing up as a kid, but they still sell the glass, so I'll get one new windshield. Got a nice one right in your vision. Little things over time, kind of like the FLD, but I'd rather be putting a little bit of money and time and work into this um instead of uh oh the fld you know so let's jump back here real quick found the cb on the ground back here <laughs> you have a little bit of room stand up put your clothes on if you want in the morning uh you got that bigger panel there because this one's smaller and then you got a little room there you can put a fridge there i guess that came factory with the fridge it does have these still has these just clean all this stuff up Hasn't been used in a while, but the stretched frame, the Peterbilt tanks, the newer rear end and the newer 13 speed, got a little bit of money put into it and we got a great deal on it. 13 inch TV, comes optional. Little tin, get a new mattress of course, clean all this out. But the canvas is here, like everything is here. This kind of just disconnects right here and pulls down like that. But I would keep that up just like the W, well the W9 and keep it down, but. I would keep that up, but just get all this extra room compared to the one that's a flat top. Oh yeah, a little bit of things here and there, but the canvas itself, pretty dang good. Cab overs, guys. This will be a project, but get it running and put some new seats in it. <laughs> Should be fun. Okay, cab over. We bought one. Now let's play with it over time. For two levels. Gotta come get her. Saturday. Well, guys, I'm excited. A little bit different than a good old W9, but the W9's been gone through when I first got the W9. If you would have saw the interior and the seats, you would have been like, mm. same kind of thing for that. But the canvas is there. Ah, it's pretty cool. It smells so old in there. Needs a lot of stuff, but uh, he was just explaining to me like the vents for the side of the sleeper, uh, a little old and rusted out a little bit on the side, but you can replace those. They're the same as the W9, they're the same as the, the newer ones, even. Uh, just little things here and there that need to be addressed, but the mechanical uh, Cummins motor uh, still runs. We'll probably do a new compressor on it, new, just make it right, new alternator, all the stuff that could go, new belts, uh, maybe we'll rehang the exhaust. But now um, our buddy who uh, helped us find it, his name is JT, here's his channel. Check him out now that we paid for it, it's ours. Uh, we got a heck of a deal on it. This thing was listed at almost 30 grand and we paid about a third of that, less than a third of that. So that is awesome. Uh, but now we have wiggle room to kind of put a little money here and there and do it, clean it up. 
and replace the stuff that needs to be done. The same thing with the FLD, like new windshield, um, just getting everything going over time. But Aerodyne Cabo are hard to find, guys, especially white, which you know me, uh, white. And then um, that interior, I haven't really seen that kind of silver gray. I like it. So same kind of pleats as we got in here, but old. <laughs> 13 inch TV, but we can get in there, start cleaning all that stuff out, uh, clean up the interior, get a new mattress down there, and um, maybe there's like an air conditioner unit in the back of the. Might have saw that. I did not see that in the pictures. That's going to have to come out. We're going to reseal that fiberglass so we can reseal that fiberglass, and then there's a panel up there like that, which will have to get redone. Maybe we'll put like just trucking up there, or maybe put Kenworth across. That would be kind of cool. Something like that. But um, little things here and there, new seats in it. Um, just a little tinkering, fixing things. But first, let's get it running. Let's hook up the airlines, hook up the um, power lines. So he just lost interest and got to work. So he has a nice peat. Stretched also, runs a reefer. Um, but Scott, awesome meeting. Nice talking to you. He's also friends with uh, Bubba. If you've ever seen our older videos, Bubba that has that awesome RGN uh, red one with the custom brackets for his mirrors. We met him up at uh, Super Rigs, and then we saw him again at Matt's. So, uh, he's a great, great character, good guy. He lives right around here, too. So this is kind of a little mecca. The frame was uh, stretched really nicely, has a uh, plate inside of it, all bolted in and, all, and welded. It's 270 wheelbase, uh, the Peterbilt tanks. Um, mechanical just has a, a pull tube and a push tube for the fuel, so a, a suck and a return. We need to plumb that into the tanks, uh, clean out the tanks, all that kind of stuff. And then just get the airlines and all that working and then probably replace all the brake chambers again. Uh, just go, go through anything that would need to be worked on, but that's going to come over time. Might bring it over to the cement shop and have my buddy Taze uh, go through it with me. Just the motor part, um, teach me about it. It has a dip individual. Uh, I could, I didn't put the cab up. It's quite the process, but um, it has individual heads. So there's three heads for the six cylinders. Uh, it's pretty cool. I didn't realize that, but I have seen that on different trucks. I've seen the different head caps, different um, valve covers. So cool. <clears throat> We're doing it, guys. We bought it. It's paid for. We have the title. It's our truck. Uh, we'll switch that one for the FLD and we'll get to work on taking the seats out, cleaning it up, and I'll probably put some low back legacies in there just because it makes sense having a lower back uh, seat so you can hop over it easier because <laughs> you do have to. It's, it's different. First time I've, well, I think I've sat in a cab over maybe once at a truck show or something, but uh, sitting in it, crawling over in the back, uh, it's a lot different. Yeah, you got to crawl over that hump, uh, but it's cool. It, just having that extra room in the back of the sleeper is what I want. I didn't want to just only have a bed right behind the seat, so I wanted to have a little bit of room. Doesn't have as much room as that thing does, but uh, definitely a fun truck, so. Got it. Um, great price. The market, like where I said, to that right now is the, the time to buy. Like, I, I couldn't pay as much as I paid for the whole truck uh, just to have that frame stretched, and the people about tanks, that's much, pretty much what I paid for. <laughs> so, got a free truck and a 270 wheelbase stretched K100E with a big cam coming, so. Excited, a lot of work to do, but got a cab over. Some beautiful clouds out here. I don't know if we had a little fender bender or what happened right there. Maybe a little, little hit. I don't see any damage on the cars, but see the piece river. That is 85 degrees out here. We're kind of coming at a sideways angle to this Walmart. We normally come down, what is it, 27? But uh, since we're coming from Tampa area, straight across, so. We have the title, guys, it's paid for. It is a heck of a project, but the canvas is there. Like, uh, some white paint on that thing. I'm not gonna do a full on beautiful paint job. Might be painted in a barn somewhere, but we'll get a nice fresh coat of white paint. I've already ordered the new grill for it. Um, it is quite expensive, but only one company makes it. And it's a two week back order. So that's already coming. It's like the grill surround. Um, that'll really liven up the front end, some new headlights in it, and then all those little vents on the sides, they're all like aluminum, they're kind of corroded out, so I gotta get four of those, but I can't find the right bolt pattern. It has like um, three bolts on the top, three bolts on the side, like a 12 bolts total, but the configuration of the ones I'm finding is a different way, and I wanna keep the same holes. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, those little push-out vents, like my Volvo had one, they're riveted in, um, drill them out from the inside, but I need four of those. I need to find the right ones, so maybe Kenworth. So, not, not a lot of them out there, but that stuff, and then motors, biggest thing, get that thing running, get the fuel tanks hooked up, get the airlines to the rear end all hooked up, 
just, he just lost it. I think he's been he's had this thing for about 18 months just sitting back there since the frame got stretched and everything. Since the market crashed, uh, he didn't put any more money into it. So we'll pick it up from here, at least get it running, get the, the rear end connected to the truck, run into the gears and see how it's doing. So, oh, and then we were missing um, the brace pieces for the exhaust stacks. We had the small little ones that come off the frame, but not the whole big kind of box that holds on to the two twin stacks. So we gotta get those two. But it's a, it's a canvas difference for sure. Going, but um, for the price I paid for it, he was asking to see here on the left almost thirty thousand dollars for that thing, and I paid uh, less than a third of that. So I think we got it for the right money. But it is uh, going to be fun to have it. I really just love that interior, love that cab. That's what I wanted. Everything else will come with time. But hey, we got a cab over. Let's make our drop, get back home, and then we're going to do a collab with uh, another YouTuber that we talked talk about earlier. The guy that helped us find it. He said, hey man, I'd love to collab with you and uh, go down there and get it, get it with you. So we're going to take an RGN down there, whatever weekend works out for both of us, go you know, put this thing back uh, in South Carolina and probably take it straight to the cement place, put it in the shop and get to working on that big cam to uh, just get it right. I'll probably put a new, like I said, accessories all over it, new compressor, new alternator. I'll check the charge air, see if that thing's still holding good, check the radiator, all new hoses, all new belts. Just go through it, uh, power wash it, clean it up. But there we go. That dumb truck must be full because he's going slow. But yeah, we got a cab over, guys. I know it's not much to look at now, but give me a little time. Uh, it's definitely got what I want. So okay, let's get to Walmart. We're gonna we're way early, so we're getting over here and uh, just wait for our turn. But Walmart doesn't take you more than an hour early, so probably about four o'clock. We'll get over there and uh, wait our turn. And then we'll probably hit up the Savannah tonight. And something tomorrow because I don't, know, don't think we're going to make anything tonight for uh, getting all the way back up out of Florida. But that was a good, I'm just, God's grace, I'm grateful. I prayed about it a lot, said this is going to be something just to be fun to have, just like a uh, cab over. It's not going to be a working truck. It's just going to be a kind of a fun thing that the channel goes through the years. My sons can work on it with me. We can do different things here and there. Uh, get it right. Get out that 13-inch TV. <laughs> that is a, as a relic new CB and then put some whips on it like the W9 has. Just make it a cap over version of the W9 over time. But hey, I'm just grateful to God. It thanks all praise to God that um, he put in our lap and all praise to JT, man. For It's funny, it's just trucking. A lot of people call me JT and that's his name. <laughs> and uh, he goes by Junkyard Dog on uh, YouTube. And I just thanks so much to him because I was looking at 45000 I was looking at $75,000 trucks that were the same truck just not even one of them was even that much nicer. I mean, maybe the motor and stuff was work running and all that. It was stretched, but he was asking seventy-five thousand dollars, and the paint was kind of coming apart a little bit. Um, the interior was about as nice as this one is. Maybe a little bit nicer, but not even nicer, just clean. I just got to go through there, vacuum it up, clean up that inside of that truck, and clean up those vents, all that kind of stuff. But uh, we saved what sixty thousand dollars by uh, buying this one. Put our little touch on it. And of course, it's white. It's, I just love the color white. I don't know why. And uh, it'll match the W9 white cab over. White W9. K100 W9. We are just down the street from Walmart. Got about four hours to wait. Uh, but that let us get over there and get that thing paid for and get our, K to, our, our second K dub. Um, it'll be a project, but I'm going to enjoy doing it. So, yeah, like I, I don't know if I told you earlier, but yeah, I ordered my around for the grill it's two weeks just because they're stamping them out they're making them by hand because uh, they are hot commodities and they're expensive so first thing is first get that on there because that's kind of the icon of the truck you got to have that grill surround so i'm a brand new polished one and we'll see about that animal and kw getting that re-chromed or what we can do with that to match it but i'm gonna hang out here get some rest wait for our appointment and head back towards savannah we have a beautiful day. I wish spring break was what the weather was like this. It's warm and gorgeous. We'll take what we can get. We got some uh, big old cows over here. Oh yeah. Okay.
we uh, put three or four trucks in front of us, five minutes per truck, might be okay, we'll see. Otherwise, we'll be there about right on time. Good afternoon. How are you? Good, how you doing? Good, sir. You got a seal? Yeah, I do. All right. We timed it up perfectly. For some reason, Old Dominion, it was a good 15 minutes just for his truck. <laughs> It's right at four o'clock right now, so awesome. Because last time it told me to turn around, but I also paid attention to the Raycon uh, appointment time, not just the app, because they have an hour early on the app, and then the actual Raycon shows you an hour after. So we're right on time, guys. It's awesome. Thanks, Old Dominion, for taking a while. Because I was worried we had like 17 minutes before. <laughs> There's one truck, and I was like, ah. Okay, let's go put a smile on our face and uh, get this off the truck. It smells like a doctor office in here. It smells good. It smells clean. What's that? Uh, it's like bath tissue. Toilet tissue. All right, thank you. Poor guy right there is not having a good day. He was checking in like every single Walmart driver, and then he finally came back inside there and got to me, but uh, he's just like, he's grunting. He might, might have had something bad happen today. He said, what do you got in the truck? I said, like bathroom tissue. He said, okay. And he crossed out the typical uh, doors and said 3747. I said, okay. But yeah, I was standing there for like maybe 10 minutes, nobody in there because he was outside. A lady comes in, then a fire alarm goes off. <laughs> she's like, <coughs> she's like, yeah, they're testing the uh, the pumps, like the fire emergency pumps. So I was like, oh, okay. Thought the place didn't catch on fire. It would be a little, uh, a little sad if we had to stay here for a while. But we're good. 3747. Nice and air conditioned in there. It's humid down here. It says 94 on the truck. I don't think it's that hot, but there's what the engine's putting off. But bless. <laughs> Temperature outside. It's about 88 degrees. It's about 88 degrees, she said. Ooh. All right, 37 to 47. That's gonna be right here, these first couple doors. Okay, let's get it. We will go. One time I was here, got in the door, walked all the way up there, like, oh yeah, that door doesn't work. I was like, what? <laughs> Write that down out there. We'll go for 38. Cause that is right after 37. All right. Let's get our doors open, swing in there. Let's be quick about it. Straps off, and this time we have boxes of bathroom tissue. All right, put it in there. It is hot out there, so it's time for green APU. Ah, before we get back, let's go turn on our paperwork. And if you don't know about green APU, that tank looks decent. I gotta do a little bit more to it. GreenAPU.com, guys, saves you saves you so much money on uh, waste fuel, keeping that cab cool instead of just idling your truck and putting engine hours down. Ah, oh, I love them. All right, Dub Nod. Let's go turn our paperwork in and uh, let's get your little brother home. K100E. I'm excited, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me today and checking that thing out. Can't wait to get it home. Man, it's cool in here. Thank you very much, Green APU. Paperwork's turned in. Now we wait. Just got the phone call. We are out of here. Uh, and it's 5 o'clock, so we're out here before our appointment. That is awesome. All right, let's head back up uh, towards Jacksonville. I'm trying to help this guy. I don't know what's going on, but it smells like the clutch is burning or his brakes are burning. But he can't back up for some reason. I don't know what's going on. So it break down when the truck break down when the tires break down, mm -hmm. you call them up and they put you in the hole forever. Really? You know, While you're and, waiting. Yeah. Then when, when you get answer the phone, when you answer them, and they're asking like one question, next question, next question, next question, <laughs> next question, on and on and on. And it's you're just like my tandems aren't sliding. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Crazy. Just put your and you're going to be there forever, you know? Whenever they come back, we say, okay, they get some money, or they don't get nobody. And it's, li know? it's like they just replaced this line. Uh -huh. This line's new. Uh-huh. Uh. Remember they get put in there? Someone's new, but they didn't do something right. I don't even know where it started, you know? <laughs> and I'm, I'm the one who had to point to them, 
Yeah, yeah this is right here. You got to do this, do that, you know? They just come out to do whatever. Yeah, they can be some high. Some people come out and they act like shit, you know? And they got an attitude, that like shit, and they act too many questions. They act like you did something wrong. Yeah, they act too many damn questions. And then they don't even know where to start it. We're bad for that poor guy. He's trying to go somewhere else. He says U.S. Express is just horrible. They'll call for something to get fixed and uh, put him on hold for 20 minutes. And then they ask him like a big checklist and they send somebody out. And you know, the person that comes out doesn't even know what's wrong with the truck when they get there. <laughs> uh, but his stands won't slide. You can see that the button doesn't work at all. And that line has been replaced. It's brand new. So somebody didn't do their job or didn't fix it right on the last time that trailer was pulled. Crazy. T's and P's. That's trucking. I feel bad for that poor guy working for uh, Variant or U.S. Express, same company, just different versions. I did not know they were bought by Swift. Uh, you guys let me know if that's how it goes. He was saying that Variant or U.S. Express is paying 60 cents a mile, Swift is paying 40 cents a mile. Does that make any sense? Is that what you guys are seeing out there? Any of you guys run for Swift or U.S. Express, just, just comment your cents per mile. I mean, no shame in it. Just uh, what do you guys, what's the current rate right now? When I came out of CDL school, Without a year experience, it was like 39 cents a mile for me, 37. I was like, man, that's why I went straight to Mount Authority. I was like, I can't do this. I don't have the year of time. So anyways, let me know. Can't get over. Got a silver rotor right next to me that's going extremely fast. There you go. Uh, but yeah, let's roll through here. <clears throat> Praying that we get through Disney World safely. We're going kind of against the flow of traffic, people leaving the city, but we'll see. It's like 545 right now. Wrap this video up when we get to Daytona. I think I'm feeling like a Bucky's chicken burrito. I love them, they're so good, even though Bucky's hates W9s. Maybe we'll bring the K100 there and tell them that it's like a, an RV because it looks different. Like, hey, this is not a W9. This is a K100E. Do you hate K100Es also? That'll be a good test. That'll be a good video for Bucky's. Like, this is an RV, guys, I'm telling you. I don't know. But uh, let's get to Daytona, close this video up. We are already past Disney World and it's been smooth sailing. Don't want to speak too soon, but you can tell everybody's going the opposite direction. They're getting out of, out of the city. Um, so maybe this time of day is, is a decent time to actually come through Orlando as long as you're going towards Daytona, but I'm probably going to catch some on the other side coming out of Orlando going towards Daytona. But as long as this side's okay with Disney World, I'm happy because look at that line to the left. Woo! All the way down the road. It's actually almost ridiculously wide open on this side. Um, nobody even around me. Nobody even coming up behind me. So, I mean, way back there there are, but wow. 5.30, 5.45 in the afternoon? Not bad to leave uh, Winter Haven. And Barry, I'm sorry I didn't see you recently, man. I was just so tired this morning. I wouldn't got another nap. Hanging out there, uh, Barry Downey. I know you're, you're right there. I gotta come see you, man. Uh, maybe when we come back down and get that cab over, you can come meet us out there. That'd be awesome. Love you, man. And thanks for all you do for us and supporting the channel. Just had an ambulance go on the highway. Hope that's not for a, a wreck or anything up here. Hope it's not anything bad at all. I actually hope no one's in there or just a routine. Somebody will open. There is that water slide. It's those kids going up and it's open. It's because it's 89 degrees outside. Water slides are going. Kids in line. I think that's like a Harry Potter thing. I'm not sure. I don't know. We're still cruising pretty good. We slowed down a little bit here and there, but never dead stop. That's all you can ask for. The beautiful St. John River. This is kind of the slowest it's been, and we're way out of Orlando, so. Don't mind it, 87 degrees. Making it, we were 30 miles from Daytona. Stop it there, close this video. Gorgeous sunset coming. Just grateful to get there, get that truck purchased now uh, logistically getting it back home and I've already ordered uh, a couple things for it the grill that's I hope that's two weeks he said it could be longer because they're I'm like eighth or ninth in line <laughs> I was like all right at least you guys are making these things he's like yeah people want these I guess a lot of other people are grabbing k100 or something but uh, my truck obviously either it, it, I don't know if it got corroded out or someone stole it off of it I don't know but they are in demand so they make them out there in Michigan. Grateful for that. We ordered that already and a couple other things. But if you guys have any input on those vents, if you can find those, you know where to get those. I've typed in everything. Like they're called easy vents, called pop-out vents, even RV vents. 
uh, but I cannot find that same bolt pattern. I can find similar. If I can't find it, I'll just grab the, the other one, but um, I want to keep those same holes and re-rivet, you know? Don't drill, why, why drill more holes? So we'll see. But let me know if you know where to get those or a, a good set of them that are off a used truck or something. But I need four of them. All four are kind of just corroded old. I've already bought new door handles too. Those are just corroded and old. Uh, we'll start primer. We'll start sanding and primering it. Get the truck painted. I'm gonna paint it before I put the grill on it. Uh, while I have all the door handles out, but first I gotta get it running. So gotta get it back to the shop and get it, the fuel tanks hooked up. And airlines and, and electrical. Get some new batteries in it and start tinkering with what it needs for running good, just like we did with the FLD. New turbo, new uh, charge air, new air compressor. I don't know what it's gonna need, but we'll find that out once we start running it. So. All right, here we come, Daytona. Straight ahead, you will see the Daytona Raceway for a little bit, right over that new building that they're building right there. The new warehouse or whatever they're building. You can see the grandstands. Oh yeah, we gotta work on that road there. There is our beautiful sunset. Building the big old warehouse right there. And then the airport's right there to the right also. Don't know if I'm gonna stop at Bucky's. I'm not really hungry. But uh, I'm just cruising. We're on 95 now. It's showing 83 degrees, cooling down a little bit. Last night it was like 64. Um, but this Bucky's is not as easy to get into as the other one further up. But I need to close out this video. So maybe I'll just take a quick little breather, a little stop. And uh, yeah, there's Daytona. Close this thing out. There's the airport. There's the raceway. Heck yeah. And the beach is right over to our rides. Put on that note, guys. God bless you. And we will see you on the next one.